So here we have a red pine and a cedar tree that have both fallen in together. And the plan here is to do what we call a hinge cut, where we leave part of the tree. Uh, we don't cut all the way through. We leave part of the meat so that hopefully the tree will fall into the river and then swing into the bank as if it were on a hinge. And this, uh, this time it actually works out perfect. This is a good plan. It doesn't happen that way every time. Sometimes the tree breaks off, but we were able to leave enough meat that it could hinge and it didn't break off. And it worked out perfectly. So here's a good example of a hinge cut. So this tree here is not an issue at the current water level. You can go right over it, but when the river goes down a little bit, it will become a real issue for paddlers. So starts this cut from the bottom of the log going up since there's a lot of down pressure on it and this log is actually bouncing up and down quite a bit it's hard to see um, but that makes it a real risk to get your bar pinched you're gonna see it's working its way up through there's a lot of pressure from bank to bank and, uh, but it does release and uh, that's the way it goes So hindsight, we should have cut these branches that are going down into the bottom of the river here first. Um, how much of the tree were they supporting, we weren't sure, so, but the plan here is to, to make another hinge cut. So we're going to take some of the tree out from the upstream side, as well as the top, try to get it to drop down into the river, and then swing into the bank. So here you can see, made his hinge cut, we got it to drop into the river, but those branches caught up on the bottom. The river wasn't able to push it into the bank, so we paddled over, tried to pull on it, and uh, we were making progress, and this does work sometimes. You can uh, paddle downstream and actually pull the tree into the bank if the hinge cut's good and it's not caught up too bad, but we struggled with it for a while. I cut some of the clip out of here, and, Eventually just decided it wasn't worth the calories. So now we're just going to cut out these couple of branches that are sticking up above the water. Paddlers can paddle over the main trunk of the tree. And, uh, that'll take care of that. So once more, this is another example. We're going to try and make a hinge cut here. And uh, didn't quite see that the end of the tree is actually caught up on a rock. You can't see it in this frame right now, but you will. So Mark's making his cut upstream side of the log, hoping to get it to swing into the bank. By now it should have swung. There you can see it's caught on the big rock over there. That's why it would swing after a hinge cut. Yeah, it's caught on the big rock. So we're just going to cut all the way through it now. 